but the sweat was running down my arms and onto my camera, which was why I've taken this thing off. But now it's co I'm cold because it's so sweaty. <laughs> Baldur's Gate is a fantasy role-playing video game developed by Bioware and published in 1998 by Interplay Entertainment. It is the first game in the Baldur's Gate series and takes place in the Forgotten Realms, a high fantasy campaign setting using a modified version of the Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition rules. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses It was the first game the to use the Infinity Engine for its graphics with Interplay using the engine for other Forgotten Realms licensed games, including the Icewind Dale series, as well as other licensed D&D campaigns, such as Planescape Tournament. The game's story focuses on players controlling the protagonist of their own creation, who find themselves travelling across the Sword Coast alongside a party of companions to unravel the mystery surrounding a sudden iron crisis affecting the region and attempting to discover the culprits behind it whilst also uncovering dark secrets about their origins and dealing with attempts on their life. The game received critical acclaim following its release and was credited for revitalising the computer role-playing game. Its success led to an expansion pack entitled Tales of the Sword Coast, as well as spawning a sequel entitled Baldur's Gate 2 Shadow of Arm. An enhanced version of the Infinity Engine was used to create Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, the first new release for the franchise in nearly nine years. Baldur's Gate was developed by Canadian game developers Bioware, a company founded by practicing physicians Ray Musica and Greg Zaschuk. The game was initially entitled Forgotten Realms. According to Musica, our head programmer had actually read every one of the Forgotten Realms books. Everything. Every single one of the short stories and paperbacks. He made a point of it. He really wanted to immerse himself. The game's development was spent simultaneously creating the game's content and Bioware's Infinity Engine. The primary script engine for the game, used mainly as a debugging tool, was Lua, and DirectDraw was used for the graphics. The game Wasteland was a major influence on Baldur's Gate, particularly its design philosophy of having more than one possible method of achieving each goal. Unusually for the time, the graphics were not built from tiles. Each background was individually rendered, which greatly extended the amount of time needed to create the game. At the time the game was shipped, none of the six-member team had previously participated in the release of a video game. Time pressures to complete the game led to the use of simple areas and game design. Ray Musica said that the team had held a passion and a love for the art. He believed that the game was successful because of this collaboration with Interplay. Baldur's Gate was released on the 30th of November 1998 and published by Black Island Studios, an internal division of Interplay. Baldur's Gate takes place in the fictional world of Ed Greenwood's Forgotten Realms setting during the year of 1368 DR, in the midst of an apparent iron shortage, where items made from iron inexplicably rot and break. Focusing upon a western shoreline of Faron, the game is set within a stretch of the region known as the Sword Coast which contains a multitude of ecologies and terrains, including mountains, forests, plains, cities and ruins. With the story encompassing both the city of Baldur's Gate, the largest and most affluent city in the region, and the lands south of it, including Cloud Peaks, the Wood of Sharp Teeth, the Cloakwood Forest, the town of Bergotz, the village of Nashkel, and the fortress citadel of Candlekeep. In addition to the region, a variety of organisations from the Forgotten Realms settings also feature as part of the game's main story, including the Xantarim, the Red Wizards of Thay, the Iron Throne, the Flaming Fist, I serve the Flaming Fist, the Chill, the Black Talons and the Harpers. The player takes the role of a young and orphaned ward of the Mage Gorion. The two live in the ancient library fortress of Candlekeep. Abruptly, the ward finds themselves ordered by Gorion to prepare to leave the Citadel together during the night, with no explanation. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. On the night of leaving Candlekeep, a mysterious armoured figure and his cohort ambush the pair and order Gorion to hand over the ward. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. Gorion refuses and dies in the ensuing battle, whilst ensuring that his ward can escape. In the morning, the ward encounters Emowyn, a childhood friend who is an orphan like them and also lived in Candlekeep, who has followed them in secret. With no safe hiding place available, Candlekeep no longer accessible without Gorion's influence to circumvent the admission fee, the ward resolves to investigate the cause of the region's iron crisis. 
Baldur's Gate had low sales expectations from Interplay, and Bioware's internal sales goal was around 200,000 units, a number that PC Zone's Dave Woods said would justify work on a sequel. However, the game was a financial success. Within its first two weeks of release, the game sold 75,000 copies worldwide, and this pushed it to the number one position of the computer game's sales charts in France, Germany, Canada, the United Kingdom, and the United States during this period. Its global sales totaled more than 500,000 copies by February of 1999, nearly 700,000 by the June, and roughly 1 million by the November. GameSpot described Baldur's Gate as an unprecedented commercial blockbuster. Global sales reached 1.5 million copies in 2001, and ultimately surpassed 2.2 million by 2003. I adore Baldur's Gate. This is the last edition that I bought of it uh, back in 2000. It's the PC DVD version that they released. I do think I have the original PC CD-ROM version that they released somewhere in my collection of old PC video games, but I don't actually have that in my studio, so. Baldur's Gate for me was actually the first introduction, although I didn't realise it at the time, into Dungeons and Dragons. It wasn't until probably after playing it and waxing lyrical to a friend of mine that they said, that's based on Dungeons and Dragons. I think I was aware what Forgotten Realms was back in 1998, but I wasn't into Dungeons and Dragons as it were. I love Baldur's Gate apart from one, one tiny caveat, and it's the thing that always, every time I try to replay it, because I have tried to replay it in the past a few times, but it's the one little thing that always just really... Ugh. Luckily it's quite close to the beginning of the game, so I just need to throw it and then I'm all good. But at the very beginning, once you have decided to try and resolve the iron shortage that's happening along the Sword Coast, you have to go to an iron mine, and that iron mine is just a pain in the ass the first time I played it, I found it a pain in the ass the second time I played it, and every single time I've tried to replay Baldur's Gate in the last few years I've got to that bit and I have just gone, no, just can't be fucked, there isn't enough time in the world, I'm leaving it. Which is a shame because there's so much more after that bit that's just so good and really fun to play. I can definitely recommend it if you've never got into Dungeons and Dragons and sort of want like a little bit of a, I suppose like a light introduction to it. Baldur's Gate is a great place to start. And actually Baldur's Gate is a great place to start if you've never come across Bioware either. They are obviously responsible for some really brilliant games, probably most famously obviously the Mass Effect series. I've had enough of your snide insinuations. And the Dragon Age series. Just so you know, if the king ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Which are both brilliant games. One sci-fi fantasy, the other's sword and sorcery. Stand and deliver, that my hamster might have a better look at you. If you have enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to hit the old like button and possibly even subscribe to the channel. I upload videos every Wednesday at 6pm British Standard Time. Feel free to check me out on other social medias and check out other retrospective reviews that I've done over the past year. And as always, ladies and jelly spoons, thanks very much for making it to the end of the video.